if you wanted to somebody to rehearse uh, a, a positive future to come up with almost the experience now of a positive future so it, they were motivated by for it and they they had a view of where they were going to because i think direction is very important what would you advise people to do how, how would you start okay uh well you, you can you know if you if you think about it like this if, if at the moment in your timeline let's say you're in the present moment yeah that's always possible anything you're doing when you're doing it you're in the you're you're actually in the present moment even if i said to you in your mind go to tomorrow but i want you to be there tomorrow where in other words i'm, I'm putting you in tomorrow into a space that's tomorrow you're still in the present even though in your mind even though spatially you're in tomorrow so I mean that's an, that's a, that's a kind of an odd uh, thing to think, but uh, let me let me try to explain it to you this way. Uh, my son would do this in high school once he learned timelines. They were doing a play, and the and the children were were worried, of course, that they might forget their lines. So he had them learn all their lines, and then go and without even going to practice the lines again and again and again. He did it a few times for them, and even over a few days. Then he had them go to, because there's a certain thing about how you feel, the, the emotions you have at a time when you're being successful. Those things are, are good to have, you know. So so to go to after having already done something and then looking back and looking at the things you did to get to that particular moment in time, that pretty much makes it work. Because most people aren't aware of how they're going to feel. They get worried. They get nervous. They get they get anxious. They you know they get to a states of different anticipation, whatever the case is. But they haven't gotten to that past that point yet. You know I have a saying. I I, I tell people like, well, listen. You ever notice it's always easier to do something the second time, and that's true. Okay. Now the trick is, of course, or the key is how do you do that in your mind, so that when you finally do it again, it seems so um, it's it's so familiar to you that it's easy to do. Most people don't understand how that works, and it's all based on timelines.